What's up, y'all? Today, I'm going to show you how to integrate Grok's super fast inference speeds and open source models with Open Web UI. This is a GUI application running on my local machine that provides a ton of additional features, much more than you might see in regular old ChatGPT. Let's get to it. So what we're going to do, we're going to start at the open web UI. We can go a couple different ways to the settings. We can go from here up in the top right, or we can go at the bottom, click settings. We're then going to go to admin settings, then connections. And where it says open AI API, we can hit the plus button and we need a uh, base URL for Grok. And we can find that if we go to the Grok Cloud documentation. If you uh, hit this curl command, you can see that HTTPS, API, Grok, API, OpenAI, and then we're going to grab that V1, copy it. That's the base URL. Go back to uh, Open Web UI, paste it there. Then we're going to need an API key from Grok. We can go back, hit API keys create API key, and this is going to be demo uh, YouTube and submit. This is going to give us a key so we can access their API. We're going to hit copy done. And we're going to go back to open web UI. Don't worry. I will be revoking this key as soon as this video is posted. We're going to save it. Servers connecting verified, and we can test this out by going to a new chat. And we should see uh, some new models here. Uh, let's say we have the uh, Llama uh, 3.1 uh, 8B instant or versatile. Um, we can go ahead and do uh, a quick one, I suppose. We'll do the 8B one. And then we can say, why is the sky blue? And you can see how fast the generations go from there. Uh, we can ask other questions. Um, what is the Docker command, uh, to list out all images? Boom. And just like that, you have a super, super fast, uh, inference machine, uh, LLM at your disposal. An open web UI has a lot of unique features that you don't get with ChatGPT, let's say. So you can create your own GPT, essentially create a model, and you're basically just giving it system instructions, uh, how to output, uh, each, each time. And there's a lot more that you could do with that, but, um, you can, uh, save some prompts, documents, tools, um, and functions that you want the LLMs to start running uh, a lot of unique, cool uh, applications that you can use with this much more than, uh, the actual um, chat GPT website, but yeah, if you got any comments and want to see me, uh, implement some of these unique prompts documents, uh, and show these features off in open web UI, let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.